In Glasgow, the usual bustle, gone. In Birmingham, lines of ticket gates barely in use. In London, all quiet at some of the country's busiest stations. And not just passengers feeling the impact, also businesses reliant on them. Dimitri's salon is just five minutes from Birmingham New Street. The first strike was pretty catastrophic. This time, people have organised themselves a lot better and are working around it. They're catching the bus, they're catching um, the driving in. But lunchtime-wise, there isn't a lunchtime rush because there's no one coming into the offices. And some didn't realise. Amber and Dion have reached Birmingham from London to find their onward journey cancelled. We managed to find trains uh, that go fairly close, but um, otherwise we'd have to take a two-hour bus journey instead of a half-hour train drive. So You've yes. got a young baby with you? Yeah. yeah. On the picket line, the strikers and their leader remain determined. The men and women behind me on this picket line and picket lines all across the country are ordinary people but they're fed up with the way they're being treated. They're fed up with the lack of a pay rise for two or three years, and they're fed up with the constant threats to their working conditions and indeed to their job security. With the Commonwealth Games starting in Birmingham tomorrow and the second Euros semi-final in Milton Keynes tonight, the government has accused the union of cynical timing and being hell-bent on causing misery. They're holding their members to ransom. They're holding passengers to ransom. In fact, I think the hard left Hardline unions have been uh, uh, taking passengers for a ride for far too long in this country. Just like the previous stoppages, levels of support among passengers vary. They're running a Sunday service, so um, that seemed to be OK. Sympathy ooh, isn't there at the moment. I think it's just part of an important system where workers express their rights and, you know, it's how people negotiate. With train drivers from the ASLEF union striking on Saturday and more RMT walkouts scheduled for mid-August, right now there are no encouraging signals. An end to the disruption is in sight. Catherine Jones, 5 News.